pictures coming in from Dashi. Ooh, where is she, Captain? She's exploring a strange underwater cave. There's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red and wiggly. Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because they're teeth. And the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave, Peso. It's a, a whale, whale shark. shark. Dashi! Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out, now. Uh-oh, closing time. My camera. Dashi, can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm... The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. <gasps> we need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonaut, this is a whale shark. No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea. As big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashi thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate! I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashi. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gulf. Week, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here, but I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. 
The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashie's hair clipping. But Dashie must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <sighs> Don't roar at me. <sighs> That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. Oh. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> <sighs> we seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Wow! <laughs> yeah! Hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um, Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. Oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. This might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochie, goochie, goo! On your marks. A goochie, 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 goo! Get set! Goochie, goo! Go! Hey, so! I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us! And cured the whale shark's tummy ache. Ah, cute little beast. Ooh, not so little. I can't decide which of these photos I took to send into National Geographic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. <laughs> Did 
fishy to Octopod. I'm about to go out and explore the coral reef. Get ready to see some great pictures. Very good, Dashy. We're all watching. Look at these coral fans. Beautiful. Oh, I've got to get a picture of that. Just a little bit closer. What happened? Dashy, come in. Octopod to Dashy. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost contact with Dashy. We're going after her. Tweak, we need the guppe right away. She's ship shape and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Cap. Any sign of Dashy yet? Not yet, Captain. There she is, by that rock over there. Dashy, can you hear me? Hmm. Oh, oh, I, I, I hear you, Captain. Oh, she's awake. Wait, you need a checkup. Oh. How do you feel? I feel okay. You seem fine. <gasps> My camera! <sighs> it's fine too. Dashy, what exactly happened? I was about to take a picture and then I heard a very loud boom. It was so loud that it knocked me out. And that's all I remember. What could make a sound that powerful? I know what, me hearty. Dashy must have been struck down by the dreaded giant shrimp monster. But shrimps are small. This one's big. <laughs> When the shrimp monster snaps his giant claws, the boom is loud enough to knock out anyone who hears it. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a giant shrimp monster. I'm sure I didn't see any giant claws anywhere. Octonauts, let's find out whatever made that boom and stop it before someone else gets knocked out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm with you, Captain. We'll divide up and search the area. But first, ear protectors, everyone. Hi, mateys. These will keep us safe from the boom of the giant shrimp monster. I feel safer already. Quasi, you search those rocks over there. Aye, aye, Captain. Dashy, you be our lookout in Gup A. And Peso, you take that area over there. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh huh? That fish still needs a checkup. Wait! I help any creature who is sick or hurt. I'll just take these off for a second so I can use my stethoscope. sign of the shrimp monster yet? Peso? Ah, Peso. The shrimp monster snaps his giant claws again. Come on, I'll take you back to the gup. Oh, 
Mozzie to cap Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Quasi. Peso's been knocked out, Captain. I'm on my way back. Barnacles out. Who's there? Oh. Peso. Peso. Can you hear me? I... I... I'm okay. Tell me, did you see the shrimp monster, me hearty? No, but there was a big boom noise like you said, Dashy. <gasps> oh no! Don't those belong to the captain? Yow! We've got to find him! I'm coming with you. I'll call you if I see the captain. You help the captain. I'm going to stop this shrimp monster once and for all. Yeah. I can hear it, but I can't see it. and your giant claws, you scurvy beast! <gasps> oh, no, you don't. Peso, bandage wrap, now. I surrender! I surrender! You're the giant shrimp monster? I'm not a giant shrimp monster. I'm a snapping shrimp. Snapping shrimp? Yes. I'm one of the loudest creatures in the sea. We noticed, but why have you been attacking octonauts? <laughs> I'm the one who's been under attack. I thought all of you were after me. So I did what a snapping shrimp does. I use my loud claw snap to protect myself from animals who want to eat me. We promise we don't want to eat you. Ah, we thought you were coming after us. Sorry for the misunderstanding. No hard feelings, but do you think you could untie my claw now? Um, no more snapping? Snapping shrimps, Honor. But how can such a tiny little thing like you make one of the biggest sounds in the sea? Hmm, I don't know. I just kind of snap my claw like this. Uh, no! no! All right. I was just trying to work out how my claw makes that boom, that's all. Hmm. I think Dashy and her camera can help you do that. Really? Dashy, make sure your ear protectors are fastened correctly. Let's make a video of your claw snip. All right. Ready? Go! I got it! Now let's watch the video of it in slow motion. Snappy's claw opens and look at that bubble starting to form. And there goes that bubble right out of the claw. It looks like it's going to... Pop! Jumping jellyfish! Indeed! Would you look at that? <gasps> Whoa! Did you see how your big claw can make a bubble very fast? When the bubble pops, boom! So that's how a little snapping shrimp like you can make one of the biggest sounds in the sea! Thanks for showing me, Octonauts! Can we see it again? <laughs> Reporting for my training exercise, Captain. Very good, Peso. The guppy is ready, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Now, 
Let's go over the practice plan one more time. First, I pilot the guppy through the twilight zone all the way down into the midnight zone. Hi! The darkest place on Earth. A place so deep that the sun can't shine there. I know. It's always nighttime in the midnight zone. But you can hit that button to turn on the super bright lights. Right. Then, after I get to the midnight zone, I land on the seabed and come right back up. As fast as I can. You get to go to the midnight zone by yourself. Captain, I volunteer to go on this training exercise with him. Peso has to do this alone, Quasi. I have to learn to make the trip to the midnight zone by myself so that I can help the animals who live there. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Well, watch out for the vampire squid while you're down there. The vampire squid? What's that? A creature of the midnight zone, that's for sure. He wears a big cape covered in sharp spikes. His eyes glow in the dark. He squirts a horrible slime. And he lives in a haunted castle in the deepest, darkest part of the Midnight Zone. Don't worry, Peso. There are a lot of strange creatures down there, but no haunted castles. Now, let's begin. Ready, Captain. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Please. You got it, Peso. Peso here. You're doing great. Just keep those flippers steady on the helm. Flippers steady, Captain. It's really dark now, and I'm not even close to the bottom. Oh, that's better. <gasps> What's that sound? All I have to do is touch down at the bottom and come back up as fast as I can. Sound again. I I made it by myself. All alone. All right, time to go. Oh, <gasps> ow, it hurts. Hurts? Uh, are you hurt? <laughs> yes. And nobody cares. Oh! I care. Hold on. Peso to Octopod. Peso to Octopod. I found a creature in the Midnight Zone who needs help. Repeat. I found... Creature. Midnight Zone. Help. Help? Octopod to Peso. Come in, Peso. Sorry, Captain. Sometimes the radio doesn't work very well way down in the midnight zone. Hmm. Keep trying, Dashi. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick no matter what. What seems to be the problem? Um, excuse me. Oh! Ah! Wait, don't be afraid. I'm here to help. Captain, I've lost contact with Peso. He could need our help. Wazi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost contact with Peso in the Midnight Zone. Captain, I'm ready to go after him. Right. The Duck B is ready to go. Please, I can help you feel better. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick. Really? Yes. Oh my, your eyes glow in the dark. Those aren't my eyes. Those are just a couple of lights I have on the top of my head. I can turn them off when I want to. Oh. <gasps> so those are your eyes. 
Well, it helps to have big eyes when you need to see in the dark. Oh! oh, oh Where does it hurt? Oh, it's one of my spikes. Uh, ow! Ow! Spikes? I don't see any spikes. Just like the vampire squid. It feels like it's near the top. See it? I see it. It looks like it's poking you. Ow! So, do you think you can help me? Yes. I have just the thing to make it as good as new. Uh, uh, what are you going to do with those things? They're just tweezers. I'll use them to straighten out the spike. Oh, no, no it'll hurt even more. I promise I'll be very gentle. <laughs> promise? Promise. Huh? Hey, so! <laughs> Are you all right? Ah, I'm fine. Never better. Are you all right? I think I was just slimed by the, the vampire squid. The vampire squid? A vast, a trail of slime. Stand back. I'll go after him. Wait, he's hurt. He needs our help. Quasi, Quasi, are you okay? Quasi, can you hear me? There's no answer, Tweak. I need to go after them. I'll get the Gup D ready, Captain. Oh, no. What's that? That's the vampire squid. Yow! Stay back. He's hurt. He's easily frightened, so please. Follow me and stay quiet and calm. All right, matey. But I'm ready to pounce if I have to. Don't be afraid. No surprises this time. <laughs> Promise? Promise. Peso! Quasi! <laughs> 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 Are you two all right? We've been slimed by a vampire squid. I've got to help him. He's hurt. Captain, the vampire squid is easily scared. It'll be much better if I go after him by myself. All right. Peso, we're here if you need us. <laughs> Please, don't swim away. It's just me, Peso. <laughs> I'm too tired to move, and my spike hurts more than ever. You've had quite a scare. Hmm. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. oh my spike! It, it feels better. Good as new. You fixed it! You're amazing! <laughs> Just doing my job. Here's a sticker for being such a brave patient. Would you like to meet my friends now? I don't know. They're not as scary as they seem, I promise. Come on. OK. Captain Barnacles, Quasi, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, the Vampire Squid. Where's your cape covered in spikes? You mean this? Oh, yeah, that. This is not a cape. It's a webbing between my tentacles, and it helps me hide when I'm scared. <gasps> and when I'm really scared... Oh, <laughs> we know. You slime! Oops, uh, sorry, Octonauts. I got a little carried away. Anyway, thank you for fixing my spy. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Farewell. That was a lot more than a training exercise today, Peso. Good work. Just doing my job, Captain. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick. Even if it does mean getting slimed. <laughs> <laughs> As the little fishy swam closer to the shipwreck, he heard a strange, whispery voice. <laughs> Then, an eerie white something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. 
It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. Its slimy fingers stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. It said... I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. <laughs> oh. The vampire squid! Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. <laughs> Our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? Uh, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're going to need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, right, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. Shipwreck. And strange whispery noises too, just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. Anybody in here? Quasi, is that you? <laughs> oh, phew! You're not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah! there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Flappity flippers! Hey, son! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy! I'm coming for you, matey! Hey, so! Hey, oh. hey so's medical bag. He would never leave this lying about. And there's that noise again. Captain, I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen. Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer. 
Quasi, it's standing right next to you. I don't see anything. Behind. In front. Just here. Turn. Captain, Captain, I, I can't hear you. Come in, Quasi. Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you're here somewhere. What? Who's there? Show yourself. Got you this time. <laughs> yeah, a sea ghost. Psst. Peso, did you have to do that? I'm well, sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You, you didn't. It's just, I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too, but sea ghosts are only make-believe, aren't they? The sea ghost? <laughs> Captain, Captain Barnacles. Barnacles! I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost! Sea ghost? It's got a strange, whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with the... Captain, it snuck up behind me and... Listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out, fast. This way, hurry. Ah, the sea ghost strikes again. Let go. <laughs> I've got you. I've got you. <gasps> it's got me. <laughs> This way! <laughs> Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um... Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long-armed squid. A long-armed squid? I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes. I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Well, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle, if it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts? Let's untangle this tentacle. Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. Oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, my friends. Did you find... Wait. You forgot your medical bag. Ah, ghost. Oh, vampire. Ah, squids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
vegetables. <laughs> commotion about there's something out there something big really big I saw it it's huge it's white and it made a noise like Whoa. Captain look at this I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there that's it that's what I saw what on earth could it be it's as big as a whale but whales are usually dark grayish Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ooh, ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap! Scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink colored reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. And then we better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, 
Uh, peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino. It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh! Looks like we've got company. A school of squid! We'll go around them! At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them! What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more, and finished. Ha! <laughs> a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. I think that means go. <laughs> Captain Barnacle to Octopod. Octopod here. Go ahead, Cap. Tweak, Peso, our trip to the beach is in a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? A completely stuck kind of trouble. In fact, I don't think we're going to make it home. 
In time for dinner. <sighs> Captain, Quasi, where are you? Stuck in a rock pool. We were so busy exploring that when the tide went out, it left us in. We'll just have to make the best of it. Ow! Did anyone bring a beach ball? All kinds of creatures get stranded in rock pools until the tide comes back in to free them. Look at this beautiful shell. We'll have to wait here for an hour until the tide brings the water back in again. Peso, you're in charge until we get back. Me? Right-o, Captain. I need you to keep a watch on things until we get back to the octopod. I'll, I'll do my best to keep everything under control here. You can do it, Peso. Barnacle's out. Sorry, we'll play again later. Right now, I have to get to HQ. It looks nice and calm out there. That's good. Let's check the radar, Tweak. I don't see anything unusual on the radar. Hmm. That's good. Let's listen for any unusual sounds coming from outside the octopod. No unusual sounds out there. That's good. That's not good. It sounds like a, a creature who needs help. We, we've got to do something, Tweak. We've got to, to... Sound the octo alert? Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, I've got to find whatever's making that noise. Don't forget to use the camera on the gup. Yes, so we can see what you see out there. Remember now, we're right here, ready to help you. Um, Peso. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> Open the Octo hatch, please. You got it, Peso. Well, Professor, Peso may be a little shaky, but he's doing fine. Yes, Peso's never too frightened to help. Once he's learned that something might be in danger, nothing stops him. Has to be nearby. I hear it, but I don't see anything. Hey, so use the camera to help you look. Righto. Whoa! Oh, flappity flippers, what's that? Hmm, I believe it's a hermit crab. Not dangerous, but very unhappy at the moment. Right, time for a checkup. Hello, my name is Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. Can you tell me your name, please? Oh. Get me out. Okay, Mr. Get me out. Oh. Now this won't hurt a bit. Oh, my name's not Get me out. <laughs> I want you to get me out of this shell. I'm on stuck! <gasps> Ow! Oh, it's no use. Here, maybe I can pull you out. No! <laughs> oh, ow, that hurts! Sorry. Oh, I told you it was no use. Don't worry, we'll get you out of that shell somehow. I know someone who can help us. What do you think, Tweak? I'll cut open a shell with my octo-slicer, and he'll be free easy as pie. 
Uh, here. Uh, now what are you doing? We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one. And that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell. Grow up, get bigger. And then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Step three, prepare landing pad. Ready, Tweak? I really hope this works. Me too. <clears throat> Captain, we're ready for the crabectomy. All right, Peso. This should take five big pumps of air to push him out. You'll have to really put some muscle into it. Flippers in place, Captain. All right. On my count. Five. Four. Three. Four, two. One. We did it! Well done, Octonauts. And especially you, Peso. Your first crabectomy. Thanks, Captain. How are things in the rock pool? It looks like the tide's coming in. Octonauts, we're going home. Yay! Where did he go? It's perfect. Huh? Thanks for the new shell. See ya. Oh, so now he's got my old shell. What about me? No shell, no protection, no nothing. I'm naked. What am I going to do? It's the Guppy. They're back. Hey, so. Ta da! Oh, how's this? Oh, 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 lovely. Home sweet home. I think that should last you a while. <laughs> if you need someone to decorate your new home, we do know a decorator crab. <laughs> to you. The reef. I got knocked off of the reef. Don't worry. My name's Peso and I help any creature who's hurt or sick. May I examine you? Oh, so polite. I like this one. Examine away. Yes. What's going on here? <gasps> that does sound strange. 
We'll need to take an X-ray to see what's going on in there. Flappity flippers. There's a tiny shrimp inside you. And there's a sea star and a snail. There are all kinds of tiny creatures inside you. Of course there are. I'm a sea sponge. Oh, but I feel like there's something inside me that doesn't belong. Shellington, we need you in the sick bay right away. Oh, this is wonderful. I've never seen a finer example of commensalism. co -watalism? Commensalism. It means that all the little creatures inside the sponge get a safe place to live, even though the sponge doesn't get anything from them. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you? <laughs> not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh, until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. Where are we anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, I well. say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Uh oh, they're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. Finally, a room with a view. <sighs> That's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No, there's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponger scope, please. All right, this shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little... <laughs> ...tickle. Having a look in... no? See anything yet, Peso? Aha! <laughs> Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> what are you looking at? A louse. No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. <laughs> oh, no! No way! I'm a whale louse! I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on! Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. Both the sponge and the louse are feeling worse and worse. <laughs> Ah, oh, there be plenty of whales swimming in these waters. We'll find the nearest one and give the little castaway a home to call his own. Oh, it's not that simple, Quasi. Different kinds of whale lice live on different kinds of whale. We have to work out which whale species this louse came from. I'm running a scan now. Oh, there. Looks like this louse came from a sperm whale. There's no time to lose. Octonauts, let's do this! Don't worry, we'll have this louse out of you in no time, just as soon as we find him a sperm whale. There's something big coming up. A vast! It's a whale! Oh, but it's a blue whale, not a sperm whale. Hmm, keep looking, everyone. Nope, that's a humpback whale. 
Can't you that? Oh, I'm starting to feel a little faint. Oh, you're feeling faint. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Hurry, Captain. They're getting worse. We're coming up on another well now. Uh, I can't tell what kind it is, Captain. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, a sperm wheel! Excellent. Peso, you'd better suit up and... Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, you stay away from my baby. Oh, the whale's mother. Sperm whales will do anything to protect their young. Hang on, everyone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The mother whale's not giving up. Peso, quasi. I'll keep her distracted. You get the louse on her. But how are we going to do that? <laughs> All right. Get ready, matey. Penguin away! <laughs> OK, Mr. Louse, this is it. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can make it. Oh, for goodness sake. But this is where you belong, on a sperm whale. I'm just too weak. Hurry, Peso. I don't know how long I can keep her distracted. I've run into some complications, Captain. I'm going to have to perform an emergency lousectomy. Lousectomy? Lousectomy? But I'll need my medical bag. Ah! Just tell me what you need, Peso. Tweezers, Quasi. I need tweezers. <laughs> now I can't see inside you, so let me know when I'm getting close. A little, a little to the left. Steady. Oh, too far left. Now to the right. Steady. You've almost got him. Steady. And gotcha! Oh, oh, uh, hey, hey, I'm home. How do you feel? Oh, now that I'm back on a whale, I feel great. Thanks, Doc. And what about you? I feel great. Captain, the louse is on the whale. I repeat, the louse is on the whale. Both he and Sponge are doing fine. Great work, Peso. This is fascinating. Another example of commensalism. The louse gets a home, and the whale doesn't mind at all. But she does mind us being this close to her baby. We need to get out of here. Everybody ready? Ready. Ready, matey. Clear. Yeah. Gotcha! And stay away. It's good to be back, honey. Oh, oh, now, easy now. Come on, no shoving. And one at a time, please. Oh, there. Come on in now. Oh, good to see you again. Ah, home, sweet home. <laughs> Look at these broken rocks. The whale must have brushed against the reef here. Aye. The louse must have fallen off when the whale knocked the sponge loose. Well, now they're both back where they belong. Healthy and happy and... Excuse me! Got room for a few more in there? Of course. As long as you're not a whale louse, I don't mind at all. Come on, fellas. Here we go. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> a wiggly one. <laughs> Captain Barnacles to Shellington, how's your exploration of the coral reef going? Wonderfully, Captain. We've discovered something amazing. A huge stone archway. Uh, you there? Can you help us? Help you? Um, how? Oh, we've got cracks in the archway. And if the cracks keep cracking, the whole thing could come crashing down. <gasps> 
He's right. The cracks are weakening the arch. It could collapse any moment. Hmm. Is there any way to repair it? I don't think there's time for that, Captain. The cracks are already too big. Right. You'd better move the creatures attached to the arch to a safe area nearby. And be sure to warn other creatures who live around the arch, too. Aye, aye, Captain. We're on it. Was that? What was what? I don't see anything. I don't either now. I thought I saw something sticking up out of that burrow. Maybe just a shadow or a puff of sand. Hmm. Well, that's everyone. Maybe. I just want to make sure. Hello? Anyone home? You're wasting your time. I've never seen anybody come or go out of that burrow. I know I saw something. <laughs> Howdy! I'm Gilbert. Hello, Gilbert. What you looking at? We were looking to see if there's anyone down in this burrow. Of course there is. That's Mama's burrow. Who's Mama? Our Mama! Mama. If your Mama lives down there, you have to warn her that... <laughs> Fish certainly do come and go quickly in these burrows. I think I know how to get to the bottom of this. The Rover Cam. It's a camera that can squeeze into tight places. If there's anything in there, we'll see it on this screen. <laughs> peek -a -boo. Gilbert, is that you? <laughs> Didn't we just see him swim into that burrow over there? I think it might be one big burrow with different entrances. Look! Jumping jellyfish. Amazing! You want to meet Mama? This way! <laughs> Lots of hallways and rooms in this house, huh? <laughs> Mama, we've got company! Hey! Out of here, you! Out, out, out! Maybe I can tempt her out. Say, aren't you the fella I saw earlier? Yes, and I saw you too. Can you come out? We need to talk to you. You can talk to me right here. I'm a convict fish and I never come out. But uh, we met your children out here. We go out and bring Mama food. We're just about to get her some lunch. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? And make it quick. Uh, I'm afraid you and your burrow are in danger. The arch above you is about to collapse. You need to move somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. A grown-up convict fish like me never leaves her burrow. Now, good day to you. Oh, the arch is getting weaker by the minute. Dashy, how's everything going out there? I'm afraid there's a problem, Captain. There's a convict fish right under the archway and she won't leave her burrow. I think you might want to... Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a convict fish who needs to be moved out of the danger zone of a collapsing stone arch. She's deep inside her burrow and she really doesn't want to leave. Sounds like she's gonna need some convincing, Captain. Quasi, Vegemals, into the gut A and bring plenty of fish biscuits and kelp cakes. Hi, what you doing? Gilbert, can you get your mama to talk to Captain Barnacles? Is he your mama? <laughs> uh, not exactly, but I do look after him. <sighs> what now? Excuse us, mama, but the stone archway above is going to fall on top of you if you don't move out quickly. We've been through that. I'm not moving. And... <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> Something smells good. Fish biscuits, Mama. They can all be yours. All you gotta do is come out. Oh, no. Nope. Not leaving. No way, no how. <sighs> She's more stubborn than the lid of a rusty treasure chest. No amount of convincing is gonna get her out of that burrow. Agreed. But perhaps we can move her burrow to a safer place. Huh? How? 
by digging another burrow. If we connect it to Mama's burrow, she can swim underground to a safer area. On it, Captain. We'll need to tunnel down vertically several feet, then along horizontally to join up with Mama's burrow. Well, let's get digging. Uh, one problem. If we make the hole too big, the tunnel could collapse. So, we need someone a little bit smaller than we are to dig it. Ha! <laughs> ah. Almost there. And perfect. Now, start digging to the right. <laughs> They've stopped. Something's in their way. I think it's a large rock. <laughs> Sounds like they're trying to move it. It must be too heavy to move. Vegemals, you need to go around it. They're going round it, Captain. Uh, yes, they're back on course. Time's running out. Quickly, Vegemals, dig as fast as you can. <laughs> Almost may not be good enough. I'll try and slow it down. Uh oh, that don't sound good. Maybe we should get out. The children, follow Mama. Oh no! Get behind me, kids. Another cave in. Super. Well, I'll be. We're right behind you. Come on, kids! Dashy, did they all get out safely? I can't see anything. The cave-in cut off the signal. Hoo-wee! I like our new digs. Reminds me of my old home. Well done. And Mama and her young fish, all safe and accounted for. Got my burrow, got my kids. Huh? Hey, where's Gilbert? Gilbert! 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 Help! Help! Down here! It's Gilbert. He must be trapped in the old burrows. We have to rescue him. But how? It's too dangerous down there for the vegetables. I know. The rover cam. A delicate operation like this calls for the steady flippers of a medic. Octonauts, totem pole! We have to hold the arch up as long as we can. Uh. <laughs> Hurry, Peso! Yeah, but my tail isn't. Gilbert's tail is pinned. He's stuck. Ah, the rover cam. Any way to maneuver it to free Gilbert's tail. Careful, matey. One wrong move and the whole tunnel can collapse. If anybody can do it, it's you, Peso. The steady flippers of a medic. Oh. Ah, can't hold it. Much longer. <sighs> There! Now grab onto the camera, Gilbert! <laughs> All clear! Uh, uh. <gasps> oh, yeah. That was a close one. Well done, Peso. But where's Gilbert now? Right where he should be. Is everyone okay in here? More than okay. Now that all my babies are safe and sound in our new home. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. Y'all come back and visit anytime. You know where to find Mama. <laughs> Mama's always home. All right, Mr. Lobster. Let's take a look at that antenna. It's all right. This won't hurt. All done. Oh, thanks, Doc. Bye. Cheerio. Ah, 
my last patient of the day. Peso, come in, Peso. Captain, is something wrong? There's no time to explain. Head down to the launch bay now. <sighs> What's going on, Tweak? I don't know, but the captain sounds real worried. Here he comes. Peso, I've got a lot of hurt patients back here. Hurry. <gasps> There's more of them in here. Peso, we found them covered in rubbish. They need your help. Tweak, clear out your workshop. We'll need that space for an emergency room. You got it, Peso. Work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, twas awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Old Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip in the morning. And we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them. Prepare to plunge! That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast, then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. Wasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashie and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. <laughs> but why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Already in the launch bay? Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashie, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! Look at all that rubbish! With these nets, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. But, Captain, what do we do with the rubbish once we scoop it up? Don't worry about that, Dashie. We'll put the rubbish into this octobin. And then take it back to the octopod to recycle. Mm. Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts, we're making good progress. I'd better see how things are going back at the octopod. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, looks good. Peso, come in, Peso. How are your patients? Well, Captain, I'd say the pelicans are healing nicely. Excellent. Ooh. Peso, what's that noise? Hmm, looks like there's another patch of something heading your way. Hmm, more rubbish, maybe. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. 
<laughs> Something's tickling me toes. <laughs> it's not more rubbish. Huh? It's a huge school of fish. Uh-oh. Whenever there's a school of fish this big, there's bound to be a, yeah! a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Attention, swordfish. There's rubbish in the water. It's not safe to eat here. <gasps> <laughs> In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we're surrounded. Captain, come in, Captain. What's going on up there? We're caught in the middle of a... Whoa! Feeding frenzy. It's making the clean-up a little tricky, and we... Captain! Captain! Oh, no. I have to help them. Listen, Doc, we pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? Right. Ah. Ready! <laughs> They're coming from every direction! There's got to be a whoa, way out of here. Captain, jump on! Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. Thanks for the lift, Pelicans. Good to see you're feeling better. Now, what do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys, in and out fast. Get ready, Octonauts. When the pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can. Prepare to plunge! of it, Captain. Ha! Huh. Good work, everyone. Hold on. Where's Peso? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. Oh, thank you. We're good to go. Au revoir. That's funny. The swordfish are leaving. The feeding frenzy must be over. Flippity flippers! There he is! Are you all right in there, Peso? I'm fine, Captain. That was a close one. Thanks, old Charlie. No worry, Peso. Great work, everyone. Pelicans, we couldn't have done it without you. Aye, after everything you did for us, it was the least we could do. All right, mateys, who's up for a little fishing? Hooray! Goodbye! 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 Goodbye. 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 Prepare to plunge! <laughs> Barmella. 
tuning. I can't wait to eat spicy algae burgers tonight, matey. Burger, burger. Mm -hmm. He says they need to make more burgers, but they've run out of algae. Easy, Quasi. We'll just go out and find some more. Come on. According to the map, there should be a big algae patch on the other side of this coral reef. That coral reef looks sick. It's all white. Hmm, let's stop and investigate. There's more sick coral over here. Captain, this coral reef needs a full checkup. Agreed. Peso, you and Shellington check this side of the coral reef. Quasi, we'll take the other side. No sick coral on this side so far. Whoa, that's a lot of algae. We might as well collect some while we're here. Huh? Quasi? Captain, it's me old friend, Parrotfish Pete. Hello, Pete. Uh, if you don't mind keeping your voices down, <laughs> I'm trying to sneak some algae. But why do you have to... Why do you have to sneak it? Because of those damselfish. They guard that algae as if it were a treasure chest full of gold mateys. Now, wish me luck. Here, keep off the algae. I just want my fair share. Nothing more, nothing less. Scram, damselfish only. Same squirt. They had you outnumbered, matey. Aye, but at least I got away from the scurvy little nippers by squirking sand. Oh, there goes my pal, Sammy. Maybe she can get to the algae. Yikes! Talk to the spikes! You're right, Sammy. Oh, my spikes protected me, but I didn't get anything to eat, not even a nibble. Look out! Coming through! <laughs> <laughs> Get him, boys. Yeah. Hi, Robert. Yeah. Hi, Deep. Hungry? Yeah. I give up, but I'm still hungry. Yep. Yeah. It seems like a lot of fish on this coral reef are hungry because they can't get past those damselfish to eat. Hey, so to Captain Barnacles. We found more sick coral on this side of the reef. Meet us back at the gut, Peso. Captain, I think there's a connection between the sick coral on the reef and those damselfish. Damselfish grow algae to eat, but when they don't let other fish eat it, there's too much algae. All that extra algae makes the reef sick. You see, Pete and his friends keep the algae from spreading too far. If they can just eat some of the extra algae, the sick coral reef will get better. Yes, but damselfish are very protective of the algae they grow. They'll never listen to other algae-eating fish like us. Don't worry, we'll talk to them for you. Excuse me, we'd like to talk to you damselfish about a problem on the coral reef. You got a problem? Talk to the boss. The boss? The one with the big spot on his face. Uh, a big spot? Sorry, I don't see a damselfish with a big spot. Oh, yes, damselfish can see colours we can't. If you want to see that big spot, you'll have to set your binoculars to... Damselfish vision. <laughs> what will Tweak think of next? Ah, that's better. Aha, the spot. Excuse me, are you the boss? Certainly I am. And keep off the algae. Right, um, we're the Octonauts, and we've discovered some trouble on this coral reef. <laughs> There's no trouble for us damselfish. We're sitting pretty with more algae than we can eat. Ain't that right, boys? Right, right boss. That is the trouble. Too much algae makes the coral reef sick. But you can save the coral reef if you'll just let some of the other fish eat some of the algae too. Forget about it. This is my algae farm, and I don't ever leave it. Now, scram! Whoa, easy, Quasi. We'll scram. If the boss never leaves his algae farm, then he has no idea that the coral reef is sick. We need to get the boss off his farm. Aye, but how? We're going to take his algae. Take his algae? I'll explain. 
Octonauts and Algae Eaters to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to save the coral reef. But first, we have to show the damselfish that the coral reef is sick. Here's the plan. We steal some algae from the damselfish and use it as bait to lead them to the sick coral. So the damselfish will see for themselves that the coral reef is in trouble. This algae is heavily guarded by the damselfish. Yes, and each damselfish has his own personal patch of algae. If we take some algae from the boss's personal patch, he's sure to chase after us. Aye, but look at all those patches. How do we know which one is his? Already on it, Quasi. Dashie and I have been working on the damselfish cam. It's a camera that looks just like a damselfish. I'll use it to slip past the guards and find the boss's algae patch. And of course, this camera has damselfish vision. The boss has one big spot on his head. Come on, show yourself. There he is, and there's his patch of algae. The boss is surrounded by all those damselfish. How do we get past them? Ah, that's where Pete, Sammy and Robert come in. Now, each of you has a special skill you can use to distract the damselfish. Squirting sand. Speed. Oh, I'm thinking. Give me a minute. Uh, is it my spikes? Yes, Sammy. It's your spikes. While you keep all the other damselfish busy, Peso drops Quasi into the boss's algae patch. Then I take the algae and we lead the boss to the sick patches of coral. All right, everybody. Operation Algae Lift begins now. Sammy, you're on. Oh, my. This algae looks delicious. Come and get me, fishies. <laughs> Hey, you, and you, and you, keep off the algae. Huh? Sorry, just dropping in for lunch. Now let's go, Peso. No, that's my algae. Damselfish, follow that cat. Faster, Peso, keep the turbo running. OK, I've never driven a getaway gut before. <laughs> Very good, Quasi. Peso, there's a big rock coming up. Fake right, then go left. Thanks, Captain. Whoa. Captain, more damselfish coming straight at us. Give me whiskers. Pull up fast. Peso, pull up. Don't lose them. That was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> we got you right where we want you. And we've got you right where we want you. Take a look. Here. And here. And here. And here. So the coral looks bad. What's she going to do with me? If you keep all the algae for yourself, the whole coral reef will disappear forever. Hold on. No more reef, no more algae. But it can get well again if we let the other fish eat the extra algae. Exactly. Uh, all right. You've got yourself a deal. Who's ready for a spicy algae burger? <laughs> Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike, but it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. 
Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Ooh! Yeah! <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practicing me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> oh, my spike is starting to feel bitter. Thanks, Peso. Off you go, then, Puffy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just a uh, whale shark. Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours. <gasps> yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi, you swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. Ha-ha! And we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny crew. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Yeah. Oh. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this... fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Captain. Whoa! <laughs> Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search for kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery tongue. <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cool. Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah. You can do it, Peso. <sighs> Look, 
It's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Ah, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. <laughs> Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! <laughs> 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 Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> I can't quite reach his tail. You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. to watch out for really big fish. Or keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. How's it going up there? Um, a bit slowly, Captain. This Arctic ice is so thick, it's taking our sonic slicer forever to cut through it. Just, just a little more. There! We made it through. We're heading up now to gather the ice samples, Captain. Huh? Huh. Huh. 
Just try to be quick. The hole you made in the ice will freeze over very fast and you won't be able to get back into the, um... Back into the water. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be quick. Over and out. Who's making that music, Captain? I'm not sure, Quasi, but it certainly is making it hard to work. Let's investigate. Me hearty. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were so good at playing music. Thank you. This xylophone was a present from my Aunt Pepita. Well, you're certainly getting good, but, uh, Peso, do you think you could take a break so we can... This is Shellington calling the Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Barnacle's here. Everything okay up there? Captain, we found another hole. Another hole in the ice? Yes, but that's not all. I'm sending a video through to you now, Captain. They're beluga whales, Captain. Yes, I see. But uh, what are they doing? They appear to be trapped under the pack ice. They should be in open water. Can you ask them if they need help? I'll try, but belugas are very shy creatures. Wait, please! I'm Shellington, and this is Dashi. We are the Octonauts. We might be able to help you. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. What are you doing all the way out here, under the pack ice? The water froze over us. We have to stay near this hole. But why do you need the hole? Have to breathe. Have to breathe. But why can't you just swim back out to the open water, where there isn't any ice? Too far away. Can't swim that far without breathing. Have to stay near the hole. Shellington, what do you make of this? The belugas are trapped. There's ice all around them and only a small hole where they can come up to breathe. And this hole is starting to freeze over too. It's getting smaller and smaller. We have to rescue those belugas right away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to lead the belugas back to open water where there's no ice. But we need something that can cut a path through the ice so that they can breathe along the way. Yeah, what about the sonic slicers? They're too slow. We need to act fast before the beluga's Whoa. breathing hole freezes over. Just the thing, Cap. Okay, Tweak. Let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Yes! Way to go! <laughs> yeah! Shiver me whiskers! You did it! Open water. Now, if I can just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas, this path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm. The belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. 
So I brought him a little fish biscuit snack. Good to see you tuning. Belugas, follow me! It's fish biscuit feast time! Yeah! Yes, it's working! Those little fishies think this is food for them. Go away. Go on. Go. Go. Leave it alone. Belugas, follow me. It's dinner time. Too many scary noises have to stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> oh, oh, it, uh, oh. oh, my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso, it's showtime. So xylophone playing sounds just like the beluga song. Have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. Here we are, open water. Great work, Peso. Thank you, Octonauts. Sorry we didn't follow you at first. We belugas are always a bit shy around creatures we don't know, and all those loud noises scared us. Well, now we know each other. And we love your music. It sounds just like ours. Come on, everyone join in. Two, three, four. Ah, I don't know how to sing like a beluga. Oh, come on, Quasi. It's easy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Octonauts. Thanks again. Goodbye, Belugas. Safe journey now. Goodbye. <laughs> It's only a few years old, but it's already full of life. Aye, this reef is busy, even if it's not very big. Hey, it's big enough. G who said that? I'm right here. Show yourself. Oh, here I am. I'm a frogfish. Name's Anton. Oh, you look so much like the reef. I didn't see you there, matey. That is the idea. 
I'm camouflaged, which means I blend in with what's around me. It keeps me safe from bigger fish who want to eat me, like those sharks. Sharks? Everybody hide. Hmm, uh. I thought I smelled food. Let's head to a bigger reef. See what I mean? <laughs> you fooled them, matey! Fascinating! These other fish can't blend in like the frogfish, but the reef has lots of places for them to hide. This reef keeps us and all our friends safe. It is our home sweet home. Oh, look out! <laughs> Whew. Sorry about that. We fixed the pedals, and now the gump F steering isn't working right. Aye, and as soon as you fix the steering, something else will break. I know. But she's the first gump I ever built, so I can't give up on her. Maybe if I pedal a little faster. Yep, that's good. Whoa! No, that's bad. <laughs> Tweak, Maisie. Are you all right? Yep. But now I gotta fix the steering, the pedal, the rudder, the top, the bottom. Ah. Is there anything on the Gup F that doesn't need fixing? The seats are still comfy. <laughs> Captain, the storm tracker shows that there's a hurricane on the way. Octopod to Quasi, Shellington and Tweak. There's a hurricane heading your way. And it's moving fast. Take cover in the Gups. There's not enough time to return to the Octopod. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll ride out the storm in the Gup Sea. Very good. Barnacles out. There's a hurricane about to hit, matey. Storm coming. Oh, everyone take cover. Are you all all right? Hi, Captain. The Gup C took a pound in, but she's still in one piece. Wish I could say the same about the Gup F. <gasps> the reef! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh. Uh. Jumping jellyfish! There's nothing left! Where's Anton? Ahoy, matey! Glad I found you. Oh, I'm not. I mean, if I'm that easy to see, then I'm not camouflaged. How will I hide from the sharks? We can't hide either. Hmm. I see what you mean. Captain, the coral reef's been destroyed, and these fishies need a new place to live. We have to do something. Agreed. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the reef dwellers need our help. Their home was destroyed by the hurricane, and now they have no shelter or protection. Maybe we could move all the fish to another reef. There may not be enough time to move them before the second part of the hurricane hits. Second part? A hurricane starts with strong winds and waves that stir up the ocean. Then there's calm like it is now. But that's because we're in the quiet centre of the storm, known as the eye. After the eye passes, it's followed by winds and waves even stronger than the first ones. But the fishies will never survive that without a reef. Hmm. What if we build them a new reef? Ah, you're talking about making an artificial reef, Captain. But an artificial reef? An artificial reef can be made out of anything. A sunken ship or even an old train carriage. Algae, sponges, coral and plants attach themselves to it. And that attracts fish who make it their home. But what could we use to make an artificial reef? Well, the truth is that the Gup F isn't much of a Gup anymore. Ah. <laughs> 
But I reckon it'd make a great artificial reef. Super, super! Great idea, Tweak, but we'll have to work fast. The first step, we should cover the Gup F with algae and coral, Captain. Using lots of sticky limpet glue. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Much better. <sighs> well, what do you think? Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Uh, uh, hold on, everybody. Don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought. And it's going to be big. <laughs> But, Cap, the glue hasn't hardened. Everything we've put on will get washed away. Oh, no. We'll get washed away. I'm scared. Oh, no, it's a tragedy. This is a disaster. Don't worry, me hearties. We Octonauts always have a backup plan. Anybody got a backup plan? Ugh. It's a shame the artificial reef doesn't have a helmet like we do. Hmm. Maybe we can give it one. Seal. Okay, Tweak, lower the tow line. Now take it away, Tweak. You got it, Cap. <laughs> Easy now. And down. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. The dome will protect the reef cap, but if it takes a direct hit, I can't guarantee it'll hold. Dashi, can you give me the exact direction the hurricane will hit from? Sending it to you right now, Captain. Octonauts, we'll line up the gups A, B, D and E and form a wall to stop the hurricane from hitting the reef too hard. And I'll use the gup C to try and keep the dome steady. Stay close together, everyone. Hurricane force current will hit in five, four, three, two, one. Brace yourselves. is perfect for frogfish like me. And for us, too. we love it. It's great. Yeah, for all of us. Wonderful. Well, Quasi, I admit that the gut bath was never the fanciest gup, but I'm proud to say that it sure is the homiest gup. This is great. Oh, wonderful in here. Oh, so I am no longer so Fergal of the Sharky. And we can dig for the secret treasure of Whitebeard the Pirate. I wonder what Whitebeard's treasure could be. No one knows, Cap. But Whitebeard was a fearsome pirate. I've heard that he could throw one of his legendary flying snowballs from the Arctic all the way to the tropics. Calico Jack once told me 
that a snowball from Whitebeard landed right on the deck of his ship, and it never melted. Remarkable. Here, Captain. This be the spot. Uh-oh. We hit something. Why, there it be! Whitebeard's treasure! Now all we need is the key for that lock. Let me just find the right one. Bluebeard's treasure, Redbeard's treasure... Ah, here it is. Oh, your paws are so cold I can barely feel them. Whoa! The key! Whoa! Shiver me whiskers. Captain, a hungry sardine just gobbled up me key. That could make the sardine very sick. We've got to find her. Let's split up to cover more ground. Aye, right, Captain. I'm fine, Captain, but I just took a whale of a ride. What was the meaning of those bubbles you were blowing at me? Well, I can't help it if you crashed into my bubble net. Humpback whales like me make bubble nets so that we can catch a lot of food at once. We're sorry to disturb you, but uh, we're chasing after a school of sardines. Maybe you saw which way they went. No, but I'll keep an eye out. If I see them, I'll send you a signal. That's how us humpback whales communicate. Just listen for this. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Whoa, there's some krill. Yummy. Hey, gotta go. And the name's Mitch. That little sardine is going to get a big tummy ache if we don't find our soup. Hi, Captain. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> We need to track down a sardine who swallowed Quasi's key. Oh no, that could make the sardines sick. I found a school of sardines in the area, Captain. Great work, Dashie. But how will we know which sardine has swallowed the key? Tweak? This x-ray viewer should do the job. Tunip, let's show him. Hide that hammer behind your back. Super, super! Very good. We'll need more than one of these X-ray viewers to find a little key in a little sardine in a great big ocean. I'm on it, Cap. Peso, meet us out here in the Gup E. Once we find the right sardine, we'll need you to perform an emergency keyectomy. On my way, Captain. Quasi, Peso, activate X-ray viewers. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Captain. <laughs> The sardines. Let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting up. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Cap. We have to hurry. That sardine needs our help. Ow! Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? 
Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, sounds like somebody needs help. Whoa, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my cup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Ugh, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. You called? Hey, guys. I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready, guys? One. A little more. Two. A little more. Three. Yeah. Thanks for your help. And now I've got to catch up with those sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. <laughs> hey, Mitch, could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course. Come on, fellas, bubble net. <laughs> some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp, like this. Uh. Oh, pardon me. <gasps> uh. It worked! Mickey! Sorry I gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. Thanks. Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. We'll just be on our way now, but, uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of, uh... Crashing into things? <laughs> yes, I know. Oh. Well, Captain, now that I've got me key back... We finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. <gasps> Tis the legendary flying snowballs of Whitebeard. <laughs> and look... It's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Open up and say, ah. Uh... Ah. Very good. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Good. Say, ah. Uh... No, not ah! Just ah! <laughs> ah! Mmm, parrotfish, just in time for lunch. Ooh, I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't eat you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help it. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right, trying. No, gotta eat you. 
Like a big metal fish. Never tried one of those. Captain Barnacles, come in. What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark. <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum. <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch now. You got it, Cap. <laughs> That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! What happened? Cap, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush. It worked. The shark is out. But look. <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat, and he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um... Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. <laughs> Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But he only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! 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 oh. Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down. Keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. It's all right. I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... Whoa! As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's got to eat. <laughs> he can't eat the cup eggs. Oh, he's getting tired. And if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! Oi, you shark! Can you not see I'm trying to eat? You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh! My fin hurts, but I'm still gonna get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flip. Oh, I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance, calm as a clam. 
time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. Okay, the shark is calm, he's moving, and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right ho, Peso. Nice and steady. Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the fin. <laughs> okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark fin wrap. <laughs> Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Oh, no. You're out of your trance. Peso! Flappity flippers. You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey. A cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. It's an all you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic! Was he the shark's after us? No problem. We just need some more speed. Hold on! Quasi, keep away from the shark for as long as you can. Copy that, Captain! I've got an idea. Tunip, come in. Uh, I need an extra large supply of fish biscuits. Shooter, Judith. <laughs> All right, Quasi, try to lead the shark towards the surface. I've got a little snack for him. <laughs> Come on, Sharky, right this way. Quasi, look. Captain, we're almost out of power. Can you get the octo ski up in the air? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, oh, yummy! Bullseye. Yeah, we better get out of here. Uh oh. You're right. <gasps> Don't worry, guys. I'm not hungry. You're not? Nope. The most delicious fish biscuits just flew into my mouth. It was so strange. And now I don't have to eat you, which is great, because I love you guys. You fixed my fin. Thanks. But just a warning. I could get hungry again. In that case, how about a little dessert? <laughs> <laughs> the sucker on your fin is healing nicely, Nora. Now let's see if you can use it to stick to something. I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hitch rides all over the ocean. Hmm. Now what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> you've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now let's practice the unsticking part. I, I'm trying, but oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. Nora, Nora. Oh. 
Captain, Nora has vanished. And I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to find this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Cap, what about... Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Cap? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbour Seal, at your service. Oh, oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one, <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. <laughs> Whoa, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seal's whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow. Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the Remora? This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning rass and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning, you must wait until I'm finished with shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, hey! Come back, shark! I need to clean your teeth! We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now. Don't chomp, my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <sighs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my sealskin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. 
This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get the picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Peso, go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppy. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big, pointy-nosed fish. With Nora attached. Yeah, they definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. Just running out of air. Harbour seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on, I'll just grab a quick breath. Oh, oh. oh no, snapping shrimp! Oh. Yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers! They've knocked out Harry and Peso! Attention, snapping shrimp! We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snap first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody, stop snapping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine, but where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. He's okay, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. <laughs> Come on, chaps. Okay, Peso, we've got to follow these ripples. Aha! There's our big fish with a pointy nose. That's a sailfish, but where's... Nora! Peso! Let's go! He's fast, but we're catching up, mateys. Oh, I can't get unstuck! Don't worry, we're coming for you. Catch me if you can. Whoa! He's making a getaway. Flappity flippers, he can leap into the air. He's not the only one who can leap into the air. Peso, on my back. I'll leap, you grab. <laughs> Ready? Ready. There they are. <laughs> Can't get unstuck. No. We're coming, Nora. We're gaining on them. Oh, can't reach. I'll have to do this on the fly. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha! We've got our fish. Whoa. And our penguin, too. <laughs> Just a few more days in the sick bay, and you'll be good as new, Nora. But we do need to bandage that hurt sucker. <laughs> Well, it looks like this case is all wrapped up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Okay, Leo. Everything up here looks good. Now let's check your tentacles. Checking. Checking. Still checking. Just one teeny tiny tentacle to untangle. This won't hurt a bit. There, all better. Ah, oh, you are the best doctor in the whole ocean, Peso. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> Your stingers seem to be working just fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love to just hug, but it never seems to end well. It's all right, Leo. I'm wearing a sting-proof suit. Besides, you're a lion's mane jellyfish. It's what you do. Ah, you're right. It's how I protect myself and my friends. If any 
big fishes. Huh, but that one there, try to eat my friends. Huh, I keep them the old supper <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> That's right, Leo. And you're always giving us food. We couldn't be happier. Which one of you fish would like a checkup and a sticker? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tunip, we are officially done fixing up the bubble engine. Let's fill her back up with water. <laughs> 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 And remember, when the water reaches the launch bay, Jack, close the front door. <laughs> Easy as pie. But first, let's make sure the area outside the octopod is all clear. No creatures in the area. We are all clear. Ready, Tunip? Tuba, tuba! Blast off! <laughs> <laughs> now let's test your tail fins. Swim to that big rock as fast as you can. Huh? <gasps> Leo! Presto! Okay, Tunip, we're gonna close the door right about now! Ouch! <laughs> What is it, Trick? We got a situation down here. What kind of situation? I describe it as a tentacle type situation. Leo? Think so? Please, can I have my sticker? Oh, and one other thing the octopod's about to blood! Huh? Whoa! Ouch! just happened? Sorry, big fella. We sort of kind of sucked into the octopod. But we're going to get you and your tentacles back into the ocean. <gasps> but what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Aso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. Okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Super couple. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting-proof suits. <laughs> Octonauts, these tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course. Tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale, their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. <laughs> Fish. Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Aha! Shoot ink. Okay, Professor, but please be careful. Of course, Captain. Peso, you're an expert at wrapping and unwrapping bandages. Any tips? It's all in the flipper. <laughs> the tickles! <laughs> <laughs> but what if you don't have any flippers? Then it's all in the wrist. Oh. <laughs> Ouch! Sorry, Leo! Try it again, Quasi. But this time, take a deep breath and make the following sounds. Hup, cha, hoi, ya! Hup, cha, hoi, ya! Well, 
Bobby, a sea monkey's uncle. This is kind of fun. Does she? Would you like to give it a try? <gasps> Tweak? Hmm. Uh, where might those fish be? <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Out of our way, octopus. That's our lunch. Huh? And it's getting cold. I'm a Dumbo octopus, to be precise, and I must insist that you seek lunch elsewhere. Or what? Or I'll be forced to use my tentacles on you. Ha! You're no lion's mane jellyfish. Those don't sting. Now, out of our way. Hmm. I did warn you. <laughs> and now we make our getaway. No, 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 I can't see. I can't see. There they are. After them. OK, Captain, your turn. <laughs> Octonauts, the HQ is now all clear. Let's spread out and untangle the rest of the octopod. How's it going out there? Uh, well, Captain, we're surrounded on all sides by dogfish. I'm not sure how much ink I have left. We need Leo out here. And fast. Understood. Tweak, tentacle report, please. Leo Cap, the sleeping quarters are all clear, as are all the chutes and working areas. All that's left is... The bubble engine. That's the tangliest tangle of all. Octonauts, this will take all of us working together. No, Captain. It's too complicated. It's not even in the book. I need to do this one on my own. Mesa, what is going on? When can I live? We've just got one last tangle to take care of, and it's a big one. Tunip, I'll need you to step outside. You can do this, Peso. <laughs> <sighs> Leo, this will be over in a second, and you may feel an uncontrollable need to laugh. Captain, we are fully untangled. Amazing work, Peso. Octonauts, prepare for super flush. Tweak. Hold on, everybody. Three, two, one, flush! You're going home, Leo. Plank your password. Woohoo! Oh, oh no! <laughs> I've got this one, Paso. Phew, just in time. Ha, oh, it feels real good to be untangled. And all of your tentacles seem to be just fine. <laughs> then I think I'm ready for my sticker. Stick or two, please, Peso. Feel me. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Come on out. Dashy, <gasps> come in, Dashy. How's the photo assignment going? Well, I've taken some good shots. But if I want one of my photos on the cover of National Seagraphic, I need a really great shot. Captain, I have to call you back. Manta rays. Incredible. Manta ray coming through. Hey, wait up, chaps. Ouch. Oh, I'm so sorry for crashing into you like that. I just... Ouch! Are you all right? No, I... I think 
I scratched my fin. Ow! Sorry about Muriel here. For a manta ray, she's not very good at leaping. For a manta ray, she's not very good at anything. Oh, ha, ha, very funny. Don't mind them. They're just my remora fish. Most of us manta rays have them. They ride around with me everywhere. Ow! Oh! You'd better come with me, Muriel. I know just the person who can make your fin feel better. Please do make her better, Doctor. Muriel may be clumsy, but she is our friend. Don't worry, Muriel. Your fin just needs a little slime. Slime? What you need slime for? Manta Ray's skin is protected by a layer of slime. Some of Muriel's got scratched off when she crashed into Dashi. There. Good as new. Thanks. Now, uh, got to go. I need to catch up with the other Manta Rays. They know the way. The way? The way to what? Every so often, we Manta Rays have a big feast in a special place. The secret Manta Ray feeding ground. I reckon nobody's ever photographed that before. How do we get there, Muriel? Um... <laughs> if you find out, be sure to tell Muriel. It's so secret, even she doesn't know where it is. Uh, I guess you could say I've never actually been there, myself, personally. <laughs> but I have to get there soon or I'll miss the big feast. In that case, we'd better help you find it. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help Muriel find the secret manta ray feeding ground. Muriel, do you have any idea where it may be? Well, there is an old manta ray rhyme about it. Uh, follow the giant swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. <laughs> Hmm. Dashi, let's see the map. Ah, I don't see any rivers or swirling things on the map. Maybe we're looking at the wrong map. Let's check the storm tracker. There. That storm looks like a giant swirling thing. And we're going to follow it. Quasi, peso, Dashi, into the guppe. We'd better hurry. The big feast doesn't last long. One swirling storm straight ahead. Oh, there it is! The swirling thing! Come along, everyone! Let's go! Whoa! 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 Muriel! We've got to tow her out somehow. Quasi, can you? I'm coming for you, Muriel! Wait! Don't touch her! You'll scratch off her slime. You need to make your paws soft and slimy first. I slime gloves. You take one fin, I'll take the other. Let's go, Captain. Everyone, hang on. The engines have shut down. How will we? Whoa. <laughs> Then we'd better sail this ship to safety. Grab a rope, Dashi! Who left, Captain? <laughs> Dashi! Who right! <laughs> Just a little bit further, chap! <laughs> Who knew you'd make such a good sail, Muriel? I think we finally found something you're good at. Huh. Is everyone okay? We're fine, Captain, but where are we? That storm pulled us pretty far out to sea. There's nothing around for miles. Oh, no. We're lost. <gasps> now we'll never find the secret feeding ground. Uh, Muriel, what's that you're eating? Oh, just some krill. It's what we mantas eat. There'll be tons of krill at the big feast. Something's pulling the krill away. It could be a clue. Everyone, follow those krill. We'll have to come back for the cup A later. Look! They're being sucked into that current. 
Of course. A current is like a river of fast-moving water in the ocean. Follow the great big swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. This must be it. What are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> More krill! We must be getting close. Aye, we are getting close to that giant breeze. Lappity flippers. The current's too strong to swim out of. <laughs> We're going to crash. Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation. <laughs> A hidden lagoon. The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means... This must be it. The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. It's like a manta ray whirlpool. That's how we manage to raise each when we all get together. Now, these are some good shots. Uh, my camera! Yeah, it's going too fast. Here, hop on, champs. Now, let's get that camera. <laughs> Almost have it. Oh. Look out! Careful where you're going. Oh dear, leave it to Muriel. This is starting to get a little rough. We need to hurry. Oh, oh, oh. Dashi, are you okay? I'm fine, but we have to help the others. What about your camera? I'll leave it. My friends come first. Uh, uh, Now for Quasi and Peso. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Peso, Quasi, grab on. <laughs> grab on? Grab on to what? Ah! No! No! Should have seen that coming. Now let's get out of here. The only way out is up. Muriel, you'll have to leap over the reef. Uh, I'm not very good at leaping. We'll help you. First, you've got to dive down to build up speed. Okay, here goes. Now, up to the surface, fast. <laughs> Muriel, what's the matter? I just thought we might like a picture or two. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've got an idea for a great one. Here we go. Muriel? I guess I'm not so bad at leaping after all. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, chaps. Now that's a photo fit for the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Muriel. Did you get Muriel's good side? That's the side I'm on. No, that's the side I'm on. I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>